The Forum of Presidents of Youth Organizations in the Middle Bay region met in Abuja on Friday, 20th August 2021, to look at the common challenges facing the people of the region and the state of the nation in general. At the end of the one-day meeting, the forum hereby issued a communique with the following resolutions. One, the meeting did a comprehensive review of security and economic situation of the Middle Belt states and came to the conclusion that the region has been badly affected by unfavorable policies of successive federal administrations in the country, which have left the region grossly marginalized in terms of youth empowerment, uh, empowerment for young people, and general development of the Middle Belt. The Middle Belt is currently rated as the region with the highest rate of youth unemployment in the country. Two, the forum is deeply saddened by the spread of insecurity in parts of the Middle Bay region, which has left thousands of people dead and rendered many other homeless with thousands of widows and orphans. The forum sympathized with families of victims of attack carried out by herdsmen, bandits, and other terrorist operations in the Middle Bay. Four, the forum equally sympathized with families of security personnel who have lost their lives in the course of defending the people of the region and other parts of the country. Five, the forum expresses deep concern over the sustained impunity that has reduced the Middle Bay region to a mere plantation where the bulk of the country's food is produced to feed the nation, leaving the people of the region poorer and without anything to show for their sweat and contributions to the economic growth of the region. The forum calls on President Muhammad Buhari as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces to urgently convene a national dialogue to address the worsening security situation across the country and to also address the agitations and concerns being expressed by Nigeria. This should be followed by the National Council of State meeting to find a workable solution to the spread of killings in different states of the Federation. Eight, the forum endows the use of vigilante groups and neighborhood watches to safeguard the communities since the conventional securities agencies have been overwhelmed by the terrorists, such as armed herdsmen who are operating within the region. Nine, the forum call on all Middle Belt states, which are yet to ban open grazing of cattle, to do so urgently and to embrace ranching as the global best practice of animal husbandry. The forum charges the rest of the region to enact anti-open grazing laws to give legal backing to the ban on open grazing and commends Benue State for being the pathfinder to the, in the ranching revolution. 10. It is the considered stand of the forum that Nigeria is ripe for the implementation of a policy on ranching as captured in the National Lifestyle Transformation Plan that was adopted by the National Economic Council. The forum believes that the policy will not only protect farming communities from attacks and herdsmen from cattle rustling, and also lead to environmental protection, security of lives and property, as well as guaranteed food security. 11. The forum calls on the federal government to publicly condemn the atrocities perpetrated by arms herdsmen, arrest and persecute the, leading, the leadership of Mayati Allah Kauta Hore, and other Fulani social cultural groups who have consistently admitted to the wanton killings and destruction of communities across the country. 